We have with us today also the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Armenia, Ararat Mizorian. Welcome to the stage. I believe you also have an equally important speech for us. Thank you. Good morning, dear colleagues, dear friends. This is a real honor for me to address the participants of the Eastern Partnership Civil Society Forum Annual Assembly. I do believe that today, among like-minded partners, we can openly discuss and critically assess the developments both in each Eastern partner state and on regional and European levels. So for triggering further discussion, let me put forward two questions, reflection on which might be helpful today. So uh, question number one, what was and what is the Eastern Partnership about? And question number two, what is the role of civil societies in changing the world and the Eastern Partnership in particular? Back in 2009, when Eastern Partnership was being launched, it was aimed to strengthen the ties of the partners with the European Union and EU member states based on common values, deepen economic and political cooperation and support reform agenda. If we try to summarize it in one sentence, uh, Eastern Partnership was launched being about democracy and today it remains about democracy. I can proudly state that my country remains committed to democracy and democratic values. During the recent years, uh, despite all the challenges that we have been facing, the COVID-19 pan pandemic, war of 2020, military attacks and aggressions against the sovereign territory of Armenia, influx of more than 100,000 refugees from Nagorno-Karabakh as a result of ethnic cleansing, the democratization process and implementation of ambitious reform agenda didn't stop in Armenia for a single moment. The government of Armenia continues to remain committed to the endeavors of the 2018 uh, democratic, nonviolent, velvet revolution. And it is really difficult. It is difficult to sustain democracy if there is no conducive environment around. The collapse of the European security architecture, rise of authoritarianism in the world, massive violations of the UN Charter on the one hand and the democratic values on the other make it necessary to seriously rethink how the EU should position itself. And this requires the European Union not only strengthening its links with Eastern partners, but also EU encouraging the cooperation among Eastern partners. In this context, I want to commend the European Commission's decision to recommend the uh, European Council to open accession talks with Moldova and Ukraine and to grant candidate status to Georgia. This decision is welcomed not only by the government of Armenia, but also people of Armenia, who also have European aspirations. During the last several years, we have had an impressive record of joint work to bring Armenia and the Euro European Union closer. We are cooperating on implementation of the reform agenda, on realization of flagship initiatives of 2.6 billion euros, and in many other fields. Recently, we launched the high-level EU-Armenia political and security dialogue, the second round of which is taking place today in Brussels. I should also comment the decision uh, of the European Union to deploy a monitoring mission along the state border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Moreover, the European Union is an important partner of Armenia's peace agenda in assisting our efforts in bringing peace and stability in the South Caucasus. The government of Armenia has political will to normalize relations with another Eastern partner, Azerbaijan, and we are ready to move forward to that end on the basis of the principles adopted in Granada by Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan of Armenia, President Michel of the European Council, President Macron of France, and Chancellor Scholz of Germany. Furthermore, as we believe that peace and stability in the Eastern neighborhood much depends on economic cooperation of the partners, Armenia has recently introduced the project of the Crossroads of Peace as a token of our commitments to the establishment of peace and cooperation in the region and beyond. Armenia is also interested in joining the Black Sea 
electricity cable project, and we hope that the European Union will support its aspiration using the, its toolbox. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to my second question on the role of civil societies. I should confess that no government in the world is able to implement a development agenda nor to combat the challenges alone without you. The times that we are living through are not easy at all. And I definitely know that the issues which I was talking about will not be addressed without your participation, your criticism, but also your support. Uh, and here I thank you. And this is not a traditional thank you uh, that we usually say at the end of our statements. I really want to thank you for the tremendous job that you are doing for Eastern partnerships, common cause, for our values, for democracy, for peace. Thank you. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. I believe you are in a big rush, so thank you so much for coming.